Hi everyone, this is um, Antonio from uh, Random Stuff and I'm um, back again sooner than uh, I thought I would be back regarding my move from um, Cloudy G3 2.1 fantastic ROM as I've uh, gone on about it in previous videos and uh, moved on to Veneer ROM Veneer ROM uh, being basically it's a 5.02 uh, Lollipop uh, version and perhaps it was a forced um, decision uh, on, my, on my behalf to go on to it but I've had to go back to, to Cloudy and I'll explain very briefly why I've, I've made uh, a couple of points that I want to um, bring across hoping that it will help anyone who's thinking about making the move from a Cloudy ROM to, uh, to a Lollipop ROM now if I just quickly show you the version that I'm on now as you can see the familiar uh, menus nice and colourful as they are with the stock ROM software information you'll see I'm on Cloudy G2 2.2 now I thought that was supposed to be G3 2.2 uh, as I was on G3 2.1 my previous one which was fantastic the G2 2.2 I believe is continuation of G3 2.1 onto 2.2 I'm sure it's probably mentioned in the forum somewhere I haven't seen it but anyway this ROM as you can see is basically uh, the same if not better than the 2.1 that I was using before the um, the back, uh, the image in the background, by the way, is very appropriate as it's uh, currently raining here in the UK. It's very, very cold. Right, if you if you look at the um, you know the menus at the top, the quick launch uh, icons there, if that's what they're called, they're all there. My quick remote is there. Works fine. Um, I have to say the lollipop uh, remote that I found on the near was uh, slightly better than this one because it had more. Uh, in its uh, database, I believe there's a tweak that you can make in the um, in one of the files, but I, I didn't get around I didn't get around to doing that. But it doesn't matter; it's not not an issue. I can always learn remotes. The the, the reason why I decided to to move back to this ROM, uh, albeit a slightly better version 2.2, is well there's this various reasons I'm going to list um, first of all I wanted to mention one thing and that is that one of the things that I hate about this uh, well the only thing that I hate about this apart from the fact that it's not lollipop is this widget for my calendar a calendar plus a calendar plus uh, calendar is the the only one that gives me problems with the widget and the only way for me to get out of that is to go into Nova settings and go into advanced and do restart Nova launcher that's the only way and get that to come back or by removing it completely and then putting it back on I tried AW, ADW launcher I tried Apex launcher Go launcher X um, all these other launches seem to have no problems with no with uh, with a widget but Nova does now I would have purchased one of the other ones but they don't give me everything that I want and in everything I mean I need to uh, I prefer to have seven icons in the uh, in the dock and each icon in the dock has to have a double function so they're always ready there at my fingertips so many different ways of achieving things anyway so there's always a way around it but I'm going to stick with Nova the the reason Veneer ROM um, has come off my system is uh, for the following reasons one the camera button at the back I couldn't get it to, to work this, the way it does with this um, native dock feel like ROM of uh, Cloudy um, which was annoying <coughs> the recording button that you get with um, with, with the actual ROM that uh, Cloudy gives if, if you go to, to the calls if you start making for example uh, calls you'll get a, a record uh, button on here let me see if I can quickly show you uh, if I do say for example doctor because the doctors well actually there's no point you, you, you get the idea it's got a record button and it records the the call in perfect quality now bold beast I oh I I made a quick overview of it it does work um, very well when it does work it records sound in and out but the problem is that it's not um, stable enough sometimes it doesn't work also there's um, certain things that I didn't like about the lollipop version of the near that I had that when I would go into my swipe pad that you can see here I um, it wasn't on which suggests that obviously the phone had uh, force crashed and sometimes I could see it was force crashing sometimes I wouldn't see it but it had obviously force crash because swipe pad was not working so I go to the side and my swipe pad wasn't working um, another reason is the 
that I prefer this the, the, the cloudy ROM as opposed to the lollipop veneer is the, the battery. I like the way the battery information is displayed here. I can see how much I've used in the last three hours. It's a maybe time to charge and usage on battery. Um, it just I just prefer the way uh, the information is displayed in, in Cloudy's ROM. The the, the, the ROM from Cloudy, the 2.2 version of the Cloudy G2, um, has definitely more of a native stock feel to it. It's more fluid. Um, although the veneer seemed to be a little bit faster and the battery life which was much better as well. So I would get a better battery life uh, for sure on, uh, on the veneer 5.02 Lollipop ROM. <coughs> <coughs> Next thing, um, Flash Player. Flash Player um, was working in uh, <coughs> most of the times on most websites. Some websites where there would be Flash content, for example, uh, BBC website, you would uh, have the issue that um, it would be unstable. So sometimes I could watch a video in Flash. Sometimes it would it would force crash. It would stop working. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it did. So it was just a pain. Just a pain. And uh, that's one of the things that I hated about it as well. The radio button, so you know you've got here the the radio, they, the, the Spirit um, uh, 2, um, it's not perfect as, as, as I mentioned in the review that I made, um, it, but it worked. But the FM radio that comes um, with the with the Cloudy ROM is basically the native one. Um, let me just come out of that. Come out of that, okay. So that's the, that's another reason. Uh, the moving of files between the device and the PC is not as smooth or as quick or as uh, intuitive as it is with um, with the Cloudy G2 uh, ROM. Much easier, you know. There's even options at the top here where you can uh, you, know, you can uh, where is it? You can do hotspots. You can do others. I think there's other options in here which I don't normally use. Smart Share, but yeah, it's it works in both. But I prefer the way it works in in Cloudy G to 2.21. The other reason that I didn't like to stay on uh, on veneer uh, lollipop rom was the notifications. I love. I did love the notifications and in, in how it all felt fresh, you know, with the material design and all that. But the the thing that annoyed me is is that sometimes I would uh, tell it to do a certain behavior with some of the notifications, and my changes would not take effect immediately. Sometimes I would have to reboot in order to see this uh, this change. Um, so that's that's another reason <coughs> that I was getting annoyed. Um, there was something major uh, that, that made me decide to to leave in the end and that was a flickering a strange flickering behavior where the screen would just go all fuzzy in the, in the edges as if there was disturbance maybe there was but whatever it was I tried to record it and I, I believe I did record it but when I reviewed it the the the, the fuzziness and, and and the distortions that I recorded were not showing in the video that I um, that I managed to download so I, could, I can't show you that here, um, otherwise I would have added it in between the, the video segments of, uh, of this uh, recording. So uh, overall, um, you know, these are the reasons why. Um, one, one, of, <coughs> one other reason I forgot to mention is the face unlock. There was no face unlock in, um, in Lollipop, although I believe there is a better version of uh, face unlock where it works better in low lights, but in veneer I did not find that, so I couldn't use it. Um, it goes without saying that um, yeah, the ROM is much heavier, the one that I'm using now, the, the G2 2.2 uh, uh, version, uh, but it's, um, it's definitely more stable and um, you know, I'm very, I'm very happy with it, you know, it's um, if, if not the same, better than what the 2.1 version that I was using before. I'm a bit sad that I, I didn't stick to Lollipop for longer, I really was determined to uh, not go back to a, a KitKat uh, release, but um, some people suggested it to me. Um, you know, why not wait for you know LG, for LG to come out with the official one for for Europe? 
you know, for the D eight hundred two. Uh, the the you know the the, the counterparts of uh, the D eight hundred two in um, in Korea, for example, they already have it. So you know it's just a matter of time before we get it. And by by um, people's messages and some some uh, websites that I've seen, it sounds and it looks like it's going to be in February. So this month coming, um, we should all get the um, the updates. Um, <clears throat> the the camera <clears throat> I have to say was much uh, <clears throat> well it was missed by me because uh, this camera here that you get with the G3 uh, ROM which is now called the G2 ROM for some reason 2.2 you know you got the laser um, you see the the laser spots there and it's nice because if you if you keep that there then you don't have to press the camera button to take the picture but if you take that off then you can just touch the screen bang and it does the picture. I'll try and do it now. Bang. That's a really accurate picture, really good quality. Everything is working beautifully. The only thing that is that is that is not right with this phone at the moment is that it's not lollipop. That's the only thing that I could down it on. There's nothing negative to say apart from the fact that it hasn't got lollipop. Everything else is absolutely fine. So um, I hope this has um, been of use, and uh, I hope somebody finds the, um, uh, you know, the, the somebody posts the the information on uh, how I can improve any of the pointers that I've made on uh, on the lollipop veneer or on any other lollipop ROMs that are out there. If you can think of uh, any ROM which is worth trying, um, I could actually take off this. Um, you know, or with a with an Android backup, try the new one and then go back. But the chances are that you know I just have to accept the fact that we we're going to wait for the uh, for the official lollipop for the G2 to come out, and that will be uh, the the showstopper for all the other ROMs for a while anyway until something better comes along. I don't think I forgot to mention anything. Um, this 4.4.2 uh, I believe KitKat ROM is the one that I'm going to keep. Let's just check that. So for information, 4.4.2, yeah. And um, that's it. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Till the next one. Take care. Cheers.